All right. So hi and everyone, my name is Matt. I said that already. I'm the consent geek of that team and I will as well teach consent in the upcoming the armoring training that is starting on 23rd of October. And I'm into Tantra and Tantric experiencing since I'm 28. That was in 1997. It's just nearly a quarter of a century ago. In 2010, I came along with the term of de-armoring and body de-armoring and I had really interesting experience. So my tantric awakening, if you want to say so, was based on a method that has been using the contraction of the PC muscle and I have literally hardening my entire pelvic floor and my, my sphincter muscles like, uh, you know, in a really intense way. And I had to go through physical body work starting in 2012 in the genital area to just get all this tension out of my genitals and to notice that this is a super intimate work and that I was giving myself too much into the hands of the person who was doing the de-armoring so that I literally needed to an, kind of an upgrade of these dynamics and then I came across with consent work in 2014 and uh, implemented consent work in my own practice as a, a body worker and did about five six years of physical de-armoring sexual de-armoring for men and women getting all this tension out of their body and I have shifted in 2019 in consent work only and that's me so far how does sexual armor happen and that's individual to each and every one of us. Some of us has a kind of an, uh, you know, a history of abuse. Some of you have a history of being recognized as a sexual being. Some of you have maybe overdone your sexual exposure. Some of you might have exposure about porn. Some of you might have been kind of taking some medication, you know, so whatever in your genital sexual area or in your system is going on, there are so many different ways how the armoring or, or armoring can happen. But what we want to look into is how is that manifesting in your life? So that can be on different levels. It can be emotional, that can be physical or energetically, or even through different belief systems that you have created based on your sexuality and based on your genital. You know, what I said, my journey of the armoring was learning through the Tao Yoga from Mantak Chia method, kind of come, you know, more potent by squeezing my pelvic floor, you know, anus and sphincter muscles to, you know, many men have kind of trained there to either maintain their direction or get an erection or just like postpone their ejaculation and this is what on a neurological level does is a kind of an, a sympathetic approach in the nervous system so you're just like constantly on the sympathetic dynamic and have this involuntary holding pattern in your body and as the body is never really fully relaxed the body is always in this contraction and I would like to guide you in one little exercise and what I would like you to do is make a fist yeah and while you're making that fist squeeze your pelvic floor at the same time so hold hold your fist and squeeze your pelvic floor at the same time and this is what most people do to maintain or to avoid feeling something because the sympathetic approach is literally to make your nervous system into that direction that you're literally numbing yourself up. So the more tense your tissue is, the less you will feel there. Yeah. There's a saying about that a strong muscle is not a tight muscle, it's a relaxed muscle. So while you hold your hands and you really squeeze your fist and hold your fist there, now we have done that for about a minute or so, I ask you to take the energy out of your fist, but don't open your hand. Just let your hand be as it is. And just bring your awareness to your hand and as well relax your pelvic floor. And what happens is you notice that your fist is still closed, you know. And what your hands does on a natural level to opening up and becomes relaxed, you could sit here for half an hour and then very gentle and very slowly, knuckle by knuckle, your fist would open up. So as I said that before, a strong muscle is not a tight muscle, it's a relaxed muscle. And to relax and take that tension out of that muscle tissue, this is what the de-armoring practice literally is, coming from this contracted space into relaxed, relaxed and expanded space. And in de-armoring, we do that in correlation with the person we are working with and very careful, very gentle, 
we opening up knuckle by knuckle, piece by piece, slowly by slowly, that the hand can become a relaxed hand and even go into the opposite direction. So when you go into the opposite direction and really stretch your hand and take the energy out, the hand is just relaxed. So and this will have a deep benefit on the tissue of the body and your entire neurological dynamics or your nervous system will relax deeper. When it comes to the armoring and as a practitioner, might some of you are a practitioner, some of you might want to do that for individual healing and want to serve other people and some of you just want to do that for yourself. So I like to say it from that perspective, when you're holding space for another person's process, first of all, each and one of you has your own individual story about armor in the sexual area that we can impossibly kind of address you all today. But, you know, when you, when, when you as an individual sit with somebody and holding space for them, you need to be a really intelligent detective and ask the right question and dive into their personal situation to figure out where they are, what is what they need, what is it that would be too much. And you guide them where they want to be. So it, the intention is an important piece there. So the intake where to guide people. And I like to say it from that perspective, you can only guide people as far as you have gotten yourself. So if you are interested or curious about what the armoring might be for you as a professional, maybe as a hands-on practitioner, you can guide people only as far as you have gotten yourself. And this is what we're trying to provide from a very professional setup and level where we teach people consent how to have intakes and having an assessment protocol to see where people are, what is their history and how to touch and how to create this communication piece with people that it comes to really this de-armoring experience where people can release holding patterns that are based on their genitals and genital touch in a professional way that is not prostitution is one of the most beneficial and healing dynamics that is existing in the world that I found. It's absolutely possible to, by space holding, letting other people to release certain body tension in certain body areas. And I come to notice in my own world that there's nothing more healing when it comes to a mutual agreement when people touching for the sake of energy release. So that the body in itself through touch can go through a process that the body can go in any other way. And this is exactly when it comes to touch in a certain way, in certain body parts, specifically in the genital area, that a certain you know code of ethics and protocol, how to do that, is so much more adding to your practice that you have already. Yeah? So finding the right way of bringing touch-based de-armoring into your practice will give you so much more benefits. Specifically as a man, you know, my benefit, or talking about benefits of the armoring, my benefit was definitely, you know, every man knows we just have the le petit ma, the little death, so the three second of climaxing that ends in a contraction and then, you know, we just go to sleep or, you know, we just try to perform and go for a second round or, you know, whatever the conditioning is. But my benefit, and that is absolutely the most beautiful thing that I have now in my life is when I'm coming to this high state of ecstatic arousal where I'm in this place of, you know, it's nearly infinite pleasure, I can relax in an orgasmic state without hunting a goal. And I have the capacity relaxing in an orgasmic state and I can expand that as long as I choose. And I could even choose to climax or I could choose not to climax and go back into sexual arousal and then back into relaxation. And that in itself, my capacity to enjoy my sexuality, you know, instead of having this average of 7.5 minutes and then the three seconds of the release, it's just, you know, it's, it's as long as I choose to have. And if, an, if this is not a benefit as a sexual being to choose to have the sexual experience that I want to have in my body, then I don't know what else could be a benefit. I would like to introduce what we are having in the next step ahead. That's from October 23rd to November 1st. There is a 10 day de-armoring training in Sweden in the amazing place, 
Schäpsöden. So we have been there many times. And uh, it's a, a very contained group that is coming together with the three of us. So the Anne, Sana and me. And we have a group of uh, six assistants. Three of them are here today. Eric, Heini and Marco. The other amazing three, they are uh, uh, busy today. And uh, we have done this training. Uh, so I'm, I think it's my sixth or seventh time that I'm uh, co-facilitating in the training but the end and Sana, I don't know, 14 trainings. So so we are, I would say we can claim we're expert in that what we're doing. I have had another kind of 50 other trainings in my entire life and we will create that space for you to have the experience on a sexual de-armoring level or on a physical or emotional de-armoring level that you want to have. And if you have any questions around this training, what could that benefit for you out of the training, Please feel free to the last few minutes to ask the question that you have because we're closing that Zoom pretty soon. So if you don't have them right now, so I just put the link from the Dearmoring Arts from the page in there. So if you just want to get more information, everything is there. If you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and figure out if this Dearmoring training is for you and you would like to kind of have an upgrade as a practitioner or on a personal level, please reach out. There is an email connection on that web page. And this is not a marketing trick. We have only three spaces left. So if that might be for you and you consider or you're curious, just check it out. Just, just ask for a call and see if it's not this training. It might be the next training that we have in April next year. Yeah. So if you feel like the armoring could benefit your life or could benefit your profession, and you would like to go deeper, please don't let this opportunity go away. So we are absolutely certain that we can support you in either way, professionally or personally. So from my side, thank you very much, everyone, for joining here today. My honor to be part of that team, and I'm looking forward to that training. And I would love to see everybody who is here in the room who said already they're coming and the assistants and this is one of my professional highlights to teach there. So thank you everyone.